31 News just obtained hundreds of pages of documents detailing the behind the scenes of a now infamous City of Florence rebranding fiasco. Those documents detail how it went down and how the city selected the Birmingham design firm Tatum Design but passed over local designers. Only on Way 31 and all new at 5, our Matt Kroschel continues his deep dive into the making of the failed brand using the city's documents he obtained through his open records request. The box delivered Wednesday hundreds of pages of information and for the first time the request for proposal document released for public review. It's not dated or referenced in any emails I reviewed but was included in the open records release Way 31 submitted days after the rebranding rollout flopped. That's the RFP the city says local marketing companies never saw because of a quote miscommunication in publishing it in the Times Daily. The newspaper now says they never received it in the first place. But what's clear after reviewing emails from the mayor's executive assistant, the employee charged with moving the rebrand forward, Tatum Design, was on the short list from the very beginning. Only one other company was contacted to make a proposal, but only Tatum's response was shown to city council. And days later, it was approved. There was an extensive community survey conducted and efforts made as seen in these emails from the mayor's assistant and Tatum's owner to keep the media from covering the process, a scheme to hold a meeting in Birmingham because local media likely wouldn't attend. They wanted to keep this all a surprise. From the emails we can confirm, Tatum provided three different logo options for council to pick from. The unanimous decision for the F with the exclamation point gave the green light for the rebranding unveiling. And we all know how well that went over. What's missing in this set of documents are emails showing any communications direct from the mayor. Also missing, any follow-up emails after the poorly received logo launch. We know the approved $25,000 for the project came from the general fund. And to date, the city has received an invoice for 10000 As far as the now canceled contract for the new website using this rebranding, that was supposed to begin after the rebranding was complete. Now it's unclear who will do that work or when the city could see a new website. It's also not clear what they'll end up doing with this. I'm Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News. Now Matt still has questions for the city and you can count on us to stay on this story wherever it takes us. As of right now, the issue again up for discussion at the Florence City Council's meeting next Tuesday night.